Hi, my name is Claire Kosnick. I'm the director of the Dr. Eric Jackman Institute of Child Study at the University of Toronto. So for the last two decades, I've been focusing my research on teacher education because it seems so straightforward. The teacher teaches and the children learn, but it is far more complex than that. I've discovered that they are often so shocked by the realities of teaching, the level of exhaustion, how much they need to know. Educators need to keep on learning because the world keeps on changing, <laughs> especially with digital technology. It's a different world than 10 years ago, and in the next 10 years, the world will be different. So often, teachers just try to layer digital technology onto their existing courses. But what I believe we need to do is rethink how we are teaching and the ways that the students can demonstrate what it is they're learning. But we've got to be careful as teachers that we are not having such a narrow curriculum that their creativity only can be demonstrated outside of school. Let children and adolescents have choice. If they're genuinely interested in the topic, then they're going to want to share that with their friends and they will do that in creative ways. Parents have a key role in their children's learning, including creativity. Some of the things that they can do is if they're going on a field trip, let's say to the Botanical Garden in Singapore, they can say, all right, let's have three questions we're going to answer while we have our visit to the Botanical Garden. Creativity, in a way, sets them on a path for lifelong learning. Because when they're creative, they're more invested in their learning. And if they're invested in their learning, that means they're going to be learning more. They're then internalizing it. So it's not just to give an answer for an exam. It's going to benefit them as they go through all of life because they will have a whole approach to life. They will be ongoing learners. So one of the best ways to inspire your children, your students, is to believe in them to respect them, to celebrate their successes. One of the techniques I used to inspire my children when I was a classroom teacher was I had a special chair and each day one student read a book to the rest of the class that he or she had chosen and sat in the special chair and read to the class. And it was a way of me saying, I believe in you as a reader and writer because if they feel part of this class community and they are a valued member, they are going to give 110%. NIE does the most amazing job of having international collaborations and I think every student and professor should grab hold of those opportunities and take them because that is a way to continue your learning and to be motivated. To all fellow educators, you deserve to give yourself a big pat on the back because you have taken a very complex process of teaching and broken it down into parts so that your students have learned. So look backwards and forwards and continue to recognize the key role that you play in society.